Alrighty, I am back. Hello everyone, I'm Jeffrey Turner, aka MegaJetty1, and this is Techcom. And we're in the middle of trying to put it into the Terminator menace once and for all. And now we're on to Hollywood Hills. Alrighty. Oh, so far the game is great, in my honest opinion. I mean, sure, it's not perfect, but it. then again, what is perfect, really? Um, but yeah, this box here, the Civil Defense uh, Maraschino Cherries, that's basically the kind of boxes you saw um, Kyle Reese stand next to in the Future War, for those, uh, um, just in case those wa uh, watching this on replay do uh, remember that little detail. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, can't sneak in there. Okay. As long as it's a uh, true term to Terminator lore, you're all for it. Yeah, definitely. Ah, the Greek Theater. Smoking area located in Outer Plaza, section B and C, terraces and restrooms, and whatnot. I do like the statues they put in here. I will say this, most of the daylight uh, makes the graphics look don't, not look too great, but I gotta admit, this little bit with the statues here, really, really good. Skynet completely took over this place. I could do something about that. Alrighty. Machines are that way then. I know I need to go that way, but uh, first I gotta take care of what's over here. Okay, um, yeah, good guy got a sound like that. Okay, why isn't the other one going? There we go. I am glad they brought the silverfish in, even if the design doesn't necessarily match the original intended concept that J James Cameron made. And they called it silverfish, not Hydrobot or whatever it is. Um, what else? Parking, cocktails, uh, restaurant, H home cooking, okay. What was it? Uh, uh, Skynet Outpost is that way, and I'm facing that direction. Find Mac, okay. Better turn the other way then. Want to complete the side missions before I get to the whole, uh, um, stop, uh, main uh, plot and whatnot. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, I better be careful here. Oh. Good thing Judgment Day uh, shorted out the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the alarms for uh, weapons or met metallic items. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have alerted Skynet to my presence. Now then, how do I get in here? Alrighty. Okay, good. Not near me then. Alright, time to do a little pet, uh, frogger. One go. Is he coming toward me? 
No. Good. Alrighty. Oh, come on! Ugh! Go. Think I should shoot him for the, at the shoot his feet. Ha! Got a good fit photo. I got a minigun. I got a phase plasma minigun with your name on it. Okay, got to find a way up without getting spotted. Question is how? Okay, he could spot me there. them off one by one that's usually their the, the, ter the way the terminator way of doing things but it's my way now it's a lot of t-800s yeah did i romance anyone uh i'm in the middle of trying to romance uh um jennifer Try and be somewhat sneaky as possible here until it's time to blow stuff up. Oh, my skills? Uh, let's see here. So far I got, I still gotta upgrade my stealth. Yet I'm doing very good on the stealth department right now. Got my lockpicking and my hacking completely leveled. 
backpack completely leveled along with fast learner. So yeah, that's all I got so far. Let's see where he... Ooh! Did you miss anything since uh, you couldn't uh, tune in to the last stream? Uh, other than the leveling up, yeah, I got to the Hollywood Hills now. Oh, wrong one. And I did get my hands on a... Uh, on, um, I got my hands on a, uh, uh, purple phase plasma rifle, um, but yeah, I can't use it yet because I gotta level up my weapons skills, or, actually, I gotta get to level 24, that's what I need to do. that way. Use decoy, Luke. Uh. is an alternative fast hacking method. Select a Skynet chip to use brute force hacking. Chances of success depends on your hacking skills, the difficulty level of the device, and... Okay. Huh. Ah, oh, chip destroyed. Damn it. Come on! There we go. Finally. Ow! Apparently I hurt myself by doing that. That sucks. What have we got in here? Just a generator. Okay. Now I gotta run.
Ah, skill point. Okay. So, what should I level up here? My, uh, stealth? My crafting? My t or my toughness? You say stealth. Anyone else for stealth? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Okay, stealth it is. Alrighty. So one more and I can finally use that purple plasma rifle. idea that I was behind it, destroying it. Glitched machines. I guess blowing up the place glitched the whole, them all. And nice to see that by hacking into the thing, I was able to hack the rest of the, uh, the, tur the turrets. All right. Well, I'll be wait. I'll be waiting. I, I should. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can actually make this go until I fully complete the game. Aaron's husband is that way. Okay. Okay, I gotta find the lower exit here. Oh, welcome back! That was quick. Okay, can't go down there. 
Now I gotta find the exit here. Oh! Almost missed this one. Okay. Now where's the exit to this place? Here? Okay. Alrighty. See if I can find Aaron's husband. Ooh. Ooh. All righty. There we go. Oh, come on. Up we go. Upsy daisy. What's the difference between resistance plasma weapon and weapons and Skynet plasma weapons? Well, um, Skynet plasma weapons were made first. The Resistance had to steal and then reverse engineer them. That's how we got the Resistance plasma rifles. And then I guess the, over time they uh, kind of upgraded their own uh, reverse engineering. That's just my assumption. Ah, darn it. Gotta go around. I knew I missed a thing or two here. Alrighty, anything else? I think that does it. Do not enter. Huh, how fitting. Oh no, you mean as weapons themselves, do they differ? That looks um, like the place Aaron talked about. Let me see, now that I'm thinking about it. Um... Almost alerted, alerted Skynet to my presence. Better uh, take it easy here. Yeah, um, I already spent the last of the knives. But I did have fun using them, though, that's for sure. Alrighty. Any other Terminators around here? I don't think so. But they have a way of spawning... Uh, after I go to a different area. Wait, uh, they are con consumables instead of permanent weapons. Oh.
Yeah. I think I might be able to make more of those knives at a crafting table. I just gotta upgrade my crafting, of course. Let me first... Oh. Electric parts will definitely be key to that, of course. Kit too. Notebook. Dear Aaron, unable to find you, so I'm leaving this letter here. I hope that one day you will return home and find it. I do not want to believe want to leave any details as they may still be looking for us. I left instructions for you in my old locker. I hid it where I used to work before the war. L your loving husband, Peter. Locker? Where would I find a locker nearby? nearby. Ooh, skill book. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Apparently it's a permanent standing, uh, warning si caution sign. Anything else out here? Uh, no, don't look like it. Gotta admit, this isn't a like, this isn't a bad house for a place that's in Griffith Park near in Hollywood Hills. Okay. Crafting, toughness, hmm. Hmm, I think if, uh, oh, crafting? Okay, I was thinking crafting too. There we go. So I gotta go back up to where uh, where I left that facility there. <laughs> nope, I missed this earlier. Anything else? Nope. Okay. 
Yeah, good thing those metal detectors were uh, deactivated during Judgment Day. Otherwise, I would have worn the whole Skynet facility in my location. That's the locker room. It's not you, Peter. Dear Aaron, I am leaving for Mexico. I hope that you have al you are already there. In case you are not, I am leaving b some resources for your trip, hoping that you will join me there. I love you and want us to get back together. We ran away once. We can do it again. Your loving husband, Peter. Poor Aaron. And you know what's interesting? The fact that her husband's first name is Peter, and he bears a resemblance to the a, a slight resemblance to the actor who played Dr. Peter Silberman in the Sarah Connor Chronicles, kind of makes you wonder if this was Ar if that's who Aaron's uh, Aaron's husband was, Dr. Silberman. Just saying. Poor guy, though. Yeah, could be coincidence, but at the same time, I don't believe in coincidences. Coffee, latte, cappuccino, mocha, espresso. back here because I want to make sure I get everything because the map didn't seem like it was fully complete when I went to the rear of the house here. Like there may have been a thing, a part of the ma map missing. Uh, what would a Terminator order as a drink? Hmm, good question. I mean, uh, he, it, I remember Uncle Bob was offered a drink in uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, but he didn't accept it, obviously. Okay, I see now why the map isn't complete. It's because it's the edge of the map. Okay. Oh, good thing I came back this way anyway. Ah, pipe bomb. I, you say lithium. Ah. Oh. Woo, that was close. Oh, two of them. Good. <laughs> Silicon is alcohol. Oh, okay. Can't get over there? At least not this way. Ha! Cock Copper is their breakfast. Ah! Must have fallen when Judgment Day occurred. Oh! Ah! Okay, I took a took a hit there. Not too bad. My toughness has been increased enough to handle a simple silverfish to the face. Yeah, this plane must have went down when Judgment Day occurred because uh, even if it didn't get hit by the bombs, the EMP definitely disrupted the systems. Wait a minute. I think I'm missing an area here. I think, uh, 
Uh, I know that's where I need to go, but I need to make sure I got everything in this area. Oh, good thing. You still can't get over the fact that you eat the med kits. It's like in Fire Emblem, uh, Echo Echoes, uh, where flour is where flour is considered a provision to be eaten. Wow. want the R. There we go. Alrighty then. Oh, darn it. Uh, you're Jacob Rivers, you're so tough, you can take on three T-800s, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's it's really cool, because at the start of this game, you're kind of like, uh, Ellen, no, not Ellen, uh, Amanda Ripley in Alien Isolation. You don't, uh, you're basically completely, um, in over your head, getting involved in a situation that can get you killed without any proper means to defend yourself. I mean, sure, you get a pistol for, like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, what are they, uh, human sur uh, scavengers, and, uh, Oh. Oops. Whew. Ha! Work, yeah, the working Joes. Yeah, definitely the working Joes. But you also, uh, whatchamacallit, um... But you have the, uh, flamethrower for the, uh... The flamethrower for the the xenomorph, but it doesn't necessarily kill it; just keeps it at bay. In this, you start off like Amanda Ripley, but eventually you become the new Terminator, the 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 xenomorph. Okay, why is this? Ugh. There we go. I tried force, and thankfully it worked. I guess simply doing the switchy, th the doing the spinny thing wasn't gonna work. So, there. Uh, 
Alrighty. Another facility? Oh boy. Uh, what about the satellites above orbit? Uh, did they survive Judgment Day? Um, I, th I think they did because they, I think they may have been corrupted and taken over by Skynet. I really think that. I mean, sure, there may be a satellite or two that didn't get taken over, like maybe older satellites, like maybe, but maybe the newer ones did get taken over. Oh, wow. Someone died by the campfire on Judgment Day, it appears. That's sad. Oh, wait. Recipe for disaster. Three metal scraps, two chemicals, two fabrics, two, one electric part, one energy cell, three explosives equals shitload of fun. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. That was good. Funny letter. Alright, now let's finish this. He never saw it coming. On on the other hand, he probably had beef jerky. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, at least the people don't have to uh, worry about airline uh, food anymore. You know, I actually, I'm not too familiar with air, I mean, I'm not too, uh, yeah, I'm not too familiar with airline food because, uh, uh, the thing is, um, I haven't been on a plane in, like, years. It was, like, back in the 90s when I was a kid, that's the last time I was on a plane. So I don't really remember much of the way of airline food. Was it like hospital food or whatever? I've got it. Good job. I'm in my vault in one of the buildings up the street. Meet me there. Alrighty. Oh. There we go. Well, nice to see some things were salvageable from this plane wreck. Now, um, like I said, this re this playthrough slash review, I am definitely going to be going for the best ending. Um, next playthrough, I think I will do. I'm going to go for the um, worst. Well, what would be considered the worst ending? The unhappy ending, yeah. But then, I'm going to actually try and find a third ending that no many people didn't think ha it exists. I saw an image of it somewhere, but it's just an image. Nobody else has ever tried to go for it. But I'm going to try to go for it. I'm going to record as I go th for it. See, um... There's, a, as we all know, there are at least these two endings. You can either stay in the present and, and or stay in the future, I mean. Or you can go back and try and uh, rewrite things and all that. But, uh, there's, uh, there's, a, like, at least, there, there's the obvious ending for what happens. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ow! Ow! That sucked. 
didn't even s I should have noticed they were coming. Now nah, it's edible and not half bad, though peanuts would have been a g good thing, though hospital food, yeah, people um, sure as hell won't miss the that. What's up here? Yeah, uh, yeah, about the third ending, um, as we all know, um, if you save the people in the bunker, you know, there's the, uh, the ending where if you, um, if you try to, you know, if you choose not to go back in, 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 in time, you end up with, you know, Patrick and, uh, um, Jennifer. But what if, uh, you choose not to go back, yet Patrick and Jennifer are killed off? That's the third ending no one thinks to try and go for. So I'm going to try and go for that. And with all the scavenging I'm doing, I'm probably going to have enough to feed a lot of people. Okay, this is where I was. Okay. Okay, I see one down there. to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. Ha. Huh. Walked right into my trap. my way, you darn rocks. Okay, I think that's about uh, done with the searching. Now let's get that, get inside that vault. Mm. 
Mm. Oh. Ooh, canister bomb. How many do I have now? Five. Perfect. Down the basement. Oh, oh, I almost walked right into that. Gonna be able to get it on this side. I don't think I've ever actually seen any of the players of this game actually try to use the laser traps. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to try and be the exception coming going forward. Ooh. Wrong way. There we go. Yeah, duck indeed. This is it. Personally, think it was worth I know the 60. it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that plasma container. It powers this whole laboratory. Sorry for making you run around. I mean, it's like not that. perfect, but, but it's because of the recent increase oh, in terminal. You think it would be controls, so for, to that uh, for 30? Hmm. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift as a token of my appreciation. While you were out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So, I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything... <laughs> what's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way, it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also, its plasma blast is violent, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe. But they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. 
When I was excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units, and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that, too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip. For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Okay. I know Man. I have. I know exactly how to What's steal it. Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over now. Now, on the matter of uh, how he's impressed with Skynet, uh, um, basically uh, being so well versed in upgrading their phase plasma rifles, I gotta wonder if Judgment Day had not happened and then Skynet had actually been working co alongside us rather than to try and destroy us, would it still have been able to uh, develop? the uh, phase plasma rifles uh, in the 40 watt range and with purple lasers for us. That I would like to know. All right, stealth, weapons. I think if I, if I, I should upgrade my weapons. That way I can finally, I can finally, uh, yes, here we are. All righty. There we go. All righty. Oh, you think I should uh, replace the stability with another clip? Oh no! Okay. I, now, while I'm at well, looking at this close-up of my of the phase plasma wife rifle with uh, firing purple lasers, I got. Here's the thing: when you fire it in this game, the laser, the plasma bolts come out of the upper bulky barrel instead of the smaller uh, thin barrel, but w right where, across where the trigger is. I always thought back when Terminator 2 first came out that the upper barrel, well, the, that the overall plasma rifle was actually meant to be like the future version of Dutch's rifle from Predator. You know, the, the small upper barrel fired bullets, whereas the bulky lower barrel fired grenade, explosive grenade rounds. So I thought maybe it was a bit re like that, but in reverse order. The small lower barrel fired the plasma bolts, whereas the upper bulky barrel uh, fired the grenade rounds. That's why there's the big clip behind the hand trigger and It's not so much just for the uh, recyclable uh, energy cells, but also containing the grenades to fire out of the upper barrel Any any anyone agree with that? Anyone think that's what should happen? You should fire both you both fire grenades and laser bolts from the same weapon?
You would think the bottom was uh, to be used to as a charge uh, blast. Yeah, yeah, that too. Alrighty. Well, shoots and rounds off. Yeah. I have to say, you're doing... Quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. I would have liked to have seen it where Kyle Reese is, like, you know, probably involved in this, wondering who this guy is as well. I mean, I, seriously, Reese is an important figure in these events. Why is he not in this game? Alright, so maybe they didn't want to pay for Michael Bean the reprise's role. That's fine. Just at least get someone who has, has a slightly similar appearance. And then just, you know, put slap the name on Reese on him and then get someone good enough to, you know, sound like him. Good. Means we're not getting shot at. I mean, how do you have this bunker um, that Reese was in in the first Terminator movie, but you don't have Reese? You don't interact with him. I just don't get it. I'll be back. Okay, well, I'll be here. Rivers, DN 46890. Welcome back, Sergeant. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Sign in, and I'm good. Is Alvin's thing still here? Yep, it's still there. Any new supplies found in here to be found here since I've been gone? Mm, nope. Okay. Doesn't hurt to double check. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> Never gets old. Brian. Nothing here. Uh, 
Ah, I see Patrick's been drawing on the walls. Okay. Aaron. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? Your husband left for Mexico. What are you talking about? I found this letter in your house. It's from Peter. It says that he's heading there to look for you. He couldn't find me when I was right under his nose. How's he gonna find me in Mexico? What a sweet fool. You should go look for him. You're right. I have to find him before he hurts himself. Baron's not gonna like that, but she never scared me. Thank you for finding him for me, Jacob. You're welcome. Good luck to you, Baron. <clears throat> ah, this door's finally open. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. Hmm. What do you mean? Exactly. Ah. Request form. Date, April 13th, 2026. Field Name, Field Commander Jessica Barron. Pattern, Rose. Color, No. Position of body, Chest. Uh, comments from from the requester nothing anything else in here not at the moment okay what else huh oh. okay Oh, what do we got here? Termination knives, good. Got some more of those back. Okay. Check out this way. Maybe since now I can explore this, uh, B section, maybe I can finally find Kyle Reese? Just wood. Okay. Oh. Come on. There we go. Laser mine, purple cells, and another canister bomb. Perfect. Let's see. Six canister bombs now. Good. Very good. Nothing over here. Okay. Kyle Reese. No. leads I believe yep right back to where the site the the general area I explored before is okay oh Those 
those look like fives to you? Oh, you got some neat. Yeah, that's understandable. I was eating a little myself during that whole exchange with Mac. Not fives. Huh. I'm just doing a little more exploring in the base because apparently I now have access to the B section that I wasn't able to access before. Okay. No Kyle Reese there. Lock from the inside the other side. Alrighty. Oop. Come on, up and over. Leads back. Baron versus uh, Jennifer. Who is better? I prefer Jennifer, honestly. <coughs> Let's see. Can't make canister bombs just yet, but... Uh... Let's see here. Let me get rid of some, some stuff. I'm thinking if I upgrade this one second this second fi purple face plasma rifle I can at the very least get a lot of points for it let me see now um, fire rate romance rather than F buddy yeah that's my kind of thinking though personally if it's, it's, if it's possible to get both <laughs> can't go wrong there <laughs> Alrighty, got that one. And by the way, I did find some new some two term two termination knives when I was in the vents. Try romancing both uh, Triss and Yennefer at the same time. Uh, I'm I never actually got to play Witcher or whatever game that is. Need anything? Can Shop. I see your hardware? All righty. Yes. All righty. I think I best sell this uh, plasma rifle now. Okay. Along with the uh, sniper. Hold on to the mini gun for the time being. Definitely gonna sell the shotgun. on the explosives metal scraps energy cells and eh, actually nah I'll just get rid of these okay plenty of free space now So where am I going first? Talk to Baron? Okay. Okay, first, I gotta go. Okay, 
first I need to know exactly where the vent is. Actually, I wouldn't be able to get over it. Dr. Max still alive. Yeah, if I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. <coughs> okay. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to get to the vent in time, so... Or at least not on, uh... Not on the side of the, uh, whatchamacallit. First, let's talk to... No. Okay, the vent is exposed, so I could escape in there. I believe the machines are more civilized than us! Got it! Huh. I got it. Huh. You're, You're back. back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Was he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Got it. Don't kill Mac. After all, you just can't go around killing people. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you can't. Why? Because you can't, just can't, okay? Trust me on this. Kyle Reese. Nope. Tell the quartermaster that Ryan doesn't know uh, anything about electrical components. Yeah. Hey, Jacob. What's happened? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts, tell you what to do. Just think about it. Now that is another reason why Baron should not be in charge of this damn place. I mean, seriously. If, uh, you... I mean, just because he can't, uh, figure out a simple buggy... Doesn't mean that he should be kicked out. That is why I honestly believe Kyle Reese should have been brought in to take control away from her because she just was not a very good leader. Seriously. Do you need anything? I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on him. Can he really fix it himself? No, he's been lying so that Baron would let him stay. Uh, she knew something was up all along. I'm going to report it, you know? I know. What the fuck, Rivers? What you think would happen, huh? Baron's kicking me out. That what you wanted? I'm a dead man. Believe you're believe it or not, Ryan, I'm actually saving your life. If you knew what was going to happen to this place. All righty.
talk to Alvin. Okay. Hmm. I think I should upgrade the cat, the crafting. Incompetence is going to be the death of the resistance. Absolutely. What do you think? Should I upgrade uh, crafting? That way I can actually craft a. Uh, uh, canister bombs. Crafting. Okay. Okay, what is required? Four metal scraps, four chem chemicals, four explosives. Okay, just for one. Lie to Aaron. Yeah, I already did that. Oh, oh gotta get to talk to Alvin. Oh, get out of my way, Curtain. Alvin! Huh? Uh, what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there, alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet's security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes. About that. Um, do you remember that day Yeah, I downtown? think I know. I just gotta convince I Jennifer to leave. And because of that, I And I think you can still tell her to leave and things, still get the romance Including scene. that device. And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. Alrighty. Now I gotta wonder. Can I... I have inventory, but can I look at, uh... I was wondering if I could look at the key items that I that I collected, like the uh, CPU. Where's the CPU? Is there a picture of the CPU? I guess not. Guess not. Ryan, Aaron, Quartermaster, Alvin. I gotta go there. To, I got basically gotta leave. Okay. The codes. Okay. Uh. Okay, I have it to encourage Patrick to become a scavenger and uh, continue down the romance path. After the sex scene, uh, tell her that she and Patrick uh, have to leave the shelter. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I did encourage his scavenging once, so I think that's a good sign there. Oop, wrong, wrong way. Commander's waiting for you. Okay. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Oh, I fucking hate living underground. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes, no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before a Arrogance and pride, pride, humanity's greatest flaws. Right Part up there with greed and lust. Man Absolutely. Scars underneath these tattoos, and I'll never forget. 
In the good days, they don't hurt. And I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad yeah. days, they make me want to quit. Give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let him happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. He sabotaged your mission and you, you want so him dead? Old. You're the one that t or but gave I him the order, you dumbass. You. If you're into it, that is. That's always been my issue with her character, is that she acts like Mac is to blame and he has to die when... She practically must have put a gun to his face to make him turn on that Terminator. So, yeah, I'm not going to do it. I, I can't do it. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually managed to surprise me, Rivers. And as for Mac, don't disappoint me. Dismissed. Locked. A rose for Jessica. I just got back from Pasadena. I found something special, something I never thought I'd see again. A wild rose. It was reddest, it was brightest red and with prickly green thorns. Can you even, even imagine something growing and living in that wasteland? I, it made me realize that this earth can still produce such beauties. I didn't want to pick it. Some because it, it, it was so precious. It made me think of you. Beautiful and wild. I want to see it. I want you to see it. It'll remind you of the reason we're fighting. Of, of our reason for fighting. Because sometimes I feel that you forget. When you get back from your mission, find me. I'll take you there. Love, Perry. Yeah, that would definitely be her bedroom. Uh. Okay, this way is blocked off, so I can't go that way right now. And this way too. That's for later. I know that. Okay, did I get everything, I think? Yeah, okay. And there we go. <sighs> what a day. Had to wet my whistle. Alrighty. Alrighty. 
just had to take care of something there. I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find it. <sighs> Poor guy. Nothing to make yet, yet. Hey, Jamie Moore. Welcome back. What the? Oh, dang, I forgot. I, I, I spent all my... Okay. There we go. I got purple plasma now, sons of biatches. Doing okay. I rejected, uh, what's-her-name's, uh, attempt to seduce me. So that way I can, uh, earn my place with Jennifer. Trade resource. And another Cryoco truck. If you ever want liquid nitrogen to take out a Terminator, call Cryoco. Serving the best liquid nitrogen since 1995. Whoa. Oh. Okay, it just it just smashed into the thing. Okay. Okay, Lady Vengeance is that way. And this is the direction I need to go. Oh. Oh. Remember, this is nighttime, and all the Terminators and machines are all out in full force. Canister bomb. Oh, dang it. Another dead soldier. I wonder if this big building here with the escalators was supposed to be the old Galleria, even though this is more downtown rather than in Reseda.
No, wait. You shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that. Oh, you just started playing Star Wars Fallen Order. Uh, yeah, definitely looks good. I, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh... A lot of people say that it's more... It's a lot like that, um... Uh, that, uh... Whatchamacallit, that game series. I don't know if it's called Outlast or something like that. You know, the... The new modern-day Tomb Raider. I personally feel it's more like Term Tomb Raider Anniversary, where, you know, you're basically, uh... Wandering around exotic locations, and then you enter dark, uh, nearly abandoned tombs. Oh yeah, Uncharted, that's what it was. But I don't see the Uncharted resemblance, I see more of the Tomb Raider Anniversary, uh, resemblance. But that's just me. Maybe I shouldn't have given away all my darn, uh, red, uh, plasma cells. Okay. Skills, yeah, that's good. It's always good to have skills. You know, whenever I hear that clanging noise, that means you're walking on metal. Sounds more I'm walk like I'm walking on concrete, though. The Return of the Bomber. Huh. Huh. Ooh! Leaves a little plasma glow before it uh, fades into black and whatnot. fire. Wow. And slot machine. Okay, now where is this? Okay. And uh, you can craft your own lightsaber. Oh yeah, I love that part. You start off with a single blade, then upgrade to, uh, minor spoiler, um, double-bladed, and then in you can turn take the double-bladed lightsaber and then break it off into, uh, ooh, that is a big-ass rat! <laughs> Biggest beavers in this. I guess all that nuclear fallout is responsible for that. But hey... At least they, at least now the resistance can make rat burgers. Rat burgers, serving, serve, serve to you ever since Demolition Man. Yes, best rat burgers in San Angeles. Be well, citizen. Ah, now we're getting somewhere.
take a picture. Oh. Resistance. My promise with you. Um, is that your picture you look, uh, like a super- Oh, no, no, that's- that's actually an avatar of Nightwing because I also have, uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Um, I haven't been able to- f I- I'm- I'm- I haven't been able to find a decent enough, uh, icon to put- to put up to represent me or find out how to put a picture of myself on there. So for now, I'm just going with the Nightwing look. But thank you for asking. Um... Yeah, uh, you know what uh, that I've uh, been trying my hardest not to break your laws, but the tests that you've been putting me through have become more and more difficult, and you've made the devil look so much more powerful. He's here. I've seen him. A ravenous wolf disguised as an angel, exactly as you described him. He's here on a prowl, looking to devour the innocent. But I will not let him, because I know the truth. He will not deceive me and lead me astray. I will conquer him. That I can promise you. It looked like, uh, from Batman or a movie of some sort. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. One thing I will give these generator thing, these plasma containers credit for. They definitely like think, provide some nice light around here. Come on. Oh boy. Oh. Ah, oh, dang it, wrong way! Oh, damn it! Alright, let's try. Let's try another then. There we go, finally. Ow! There we go. Howling wind actually reminds me of the opening of the first Terminator. Very eerie. I hear a rat, I gotta shoot it. Makes good resources. Ever been a fan of Pokemon games or Mario series? Oh, I actually have Super Mario World for the for my old Super Nintendo. And um I also was into Pokemon uh yellow, red, and blue and, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. But after Gold and Silver, after the Johto League, I just kind of lost interest. It's like it was just doing the same stuff over and over again with no, uh, real end in sight. And this is both the games and in the, uh, the actual anime cartoon. You like Call of Duty? Ah. Never got into that, but I hear there are some, like, mods and such.
Call of Duty Mobile is really good. Uh. I love this weapon. So powerful it knocks them out in practically almost one blast. I like my new toy. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Stay away from that for now. Thought I heard something. Alrighty. The Weston uh, Bond Adventure hotel and shopping gallery. Can't wait, uh, getting Doom Eternal in March. Very excited about that one. Awesome! Ah, okay, I almost had something. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely coming out in March, uh, tw March 20th. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. See, here's the thing. I have seen the 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 latest Doom remake, and it really does look good. I just felt like because the story was lacking a little, it just. Did, I mean, I mean, it's good to have some mindless action, but without even just a little bit of storytelling, then it's kind of pointless. And you can have a well-driven story, but if you don't have much action, then yeah. It's a little, it's no fun without some action. You gotta find that perfect balance between the two, in my opinion. Okay, it was in 
behind here, I think. Was I? Okay, no, that was okay. Some of these inside of an old vending machine. Awesome. I was wondering if I'd ever find anything like that. Uh, maybe they had to make it more uh, uh, to look good and po and possible, and put in and put more action in at least uh, over for more over ten hours. Okay. Ah. Destroy oh yeah, okay now I remember. I wonder how effective this thing this uh pipe that I swing could actually be against an endo. I know that in the uh in the movie, you know, it uh didn't seem very effective, but it at least held it back long enough for Reese to try and get some dis or for him to try to get some distance, but he you know. Yeah, that's also uh, kind of like me. I can suffer bad gameplay mechanics if the story is worth it. Though, I may only play it once. Yeah. For example, um, X-Men Destiny. I felt there was a lot of good potential there. It just seemed like uh, the, the story had issues, but it was still somewhat good. I just feel like, you know, they just went so far. Because, I mean, the characters weren't too bad. The new, th the three new X-Men characters that they created, you know. You had one who was a former pacifier. You know, the a human supremacist group against mutants. Uh, real Becoming a mutant. You had the daughter of a, of a known X-Men character. Um, Sunfire. And then you had... Um, this kid who was just a college student trying to figure out where his own life is going. So yeah, I feel I feel like those three characters were introduced well in the game, but yeah, it just sucks that they so far haven't reused them in any other media, X-Men media. Then again, the the rights to X-Men have been up for grabs for a while now. That seems like that we're not going to get anything new X-Men related anytime soon. Transmitter, I'll wait until I X-Men Legends uh played that. Oh I love that game. I got both X-Men Legends and X-Men Legends 2. I had to because I I got into Marvel Ultimate Alliance and I realized those X-Men Legends games were uh technically sequels uh, or prequels to it. Um time to leave. The skin was peeled off, revealing a horrid metal skull. Uh, was there ever a better indicator that it's time to leave? I'm just gonna help myself to get some of these weapons the soldiers left, and I'm getting the hell out of here. I've got it. Oh, shit. I could probably, you know, just sneak past, but I want to at least try to take her, her bombs away.
<laughs> no, that's not uh good. This this side quest, it's it's more get you uh right now thinking you're a bad g yeah. But I mean, she thinks that she's going to kill me with these. No way. I have the ability to take her bo little bombs away from her. I think I already was in here. Yeah, I was. Okay. Just had to make sure. Alrighty. Can I? Mm. Eh. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. Oh wait, maybe not. Huh. Nice try, bitch. Uh, thoughts on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3? Um, I actually haven't played that one yet. I have one, and I have two. I just, uh, haven't unlocked all the goodies, and not to mention the DLC and whatnot. Because we all know gaming companies nowadays like to screw us over with DLC. You know, they give you most of the game, but they don't give you all of the game. And that's because they're trying to rip you off for more money. But thankfully, I'm a bit of a smarter cookie than that. I tend to usually wait for the Ultimate or Game of the Year or whatever edition where they have all the DLC on it. Though some of them still try to jip us because um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I got the Ultimate version where it's supposed to have everything on it, yet it does not have the Iron Patriot skin or a few other skins. Those are still DLC, which is stupid. Oh, no, you don't! Stop it! I'm from the Resistance! Don't shoot! Ah, shit, your plans are coming for me! You need to hide! Ooh, pipe bomb! Ooh! Missed over here! Sorry, dude. <sighs> oh, yeah. Thanks, reminder. Okay, I have all that, um... I think I should raise my toughness a little. What do you think? Toughness, craft, f complete crafting, or complete stealth? Toughness? Okay. Toughness. Ooh, alright, unanimous vote. back up there. Huh. Whew! A 
that didn't take any health away from me. Oh! Thought I could make that. to her. How do I get up there? If there's a difference of story with the side missions not completed. Actually, there are there is some similarity. Ah! All right, I got I got a little present for you guys. Normally, I'd save it for something big, but you know what? I've got everything I need. If the Resistance can fight Skynet using these weapons, why can't, can't we? We'll just have to learn how to use them. But let's not worry about that right now. We don't. You don't have to worry anymore. Mama's coming home. Ooh. map of Los Angeles. TC-16R, class of weapon integrated uh, with first generation plasma technology. Okay. Okay, so it's like a shotgun plasma round thing. For now, I'll stick with this. For right now, I also gotta... Okay, the codes are there. I gotta go back over there to her old hideout. This way I can, uh... Steal the rest of her stuff since she won't be needing it anymore. After all, she tried to kill me and steal my stuff, so... <sighs> Spoils of war, man. I heard that again. Is it a rat or is it... I swear it must be a rat. I just gotta kill it so I can get it. Eh, it must be a bird.
Hmm. Oh, nothing in here. It, she was. She kept herself blocked in a dead end. Typical. She stood no chance in this conflict. Alrighty. Did I do the battle with the half-human infiltrator yet, or is that still to come? I actually, I already did that, but more infiltrators will come. The one that uh, that was stalking me, though, personally, I already took care of that. Looks like the bitch had more bombs here. Great, pack is full. Alrighty. Um, toss. Oh darn it! I didn't mean to pick my pick the gun back up. Stay there. Come on, I have. There we go. <sighs> Sometimes this thing can be a bit of a pain, like right now. Welcome back. <sighs> yeah, this psycho biatch, Lady Vengeance, ain't Lady Angel or Lady Ven of Vengeance, whatever it was. She, uh, she just all she really uh, combined with you know. I'm pretty sure the machines did a number on the resistance, but I'm sure she had. She's not no saint in all this. Ah. Dang it. Ugh. What the freak is wrong with this thing? There we go. There we go. 
go. Did I ever complete Dawn of Fate or Terminator Salvation? Oh yes, both of them actually. I went through hell trying to get all the goodies for uh, uh, Dawn of Fate. You know, I actually played through hard mode to, in order to get like all the character skins and whatnot. Yeah, um, also Terminator Salvation, um, I did not mind it, you know, I really sort of enjoyed it, you know, I mean, it wasn't perfect, I won't give you, I won't, I won't say it was, but it's kind of like this, you know, it, it was, it was, it was meant more so to be a tie-in, I think that was really the problem with it, it didn't try to, you know, be sort of its own thing. Because, I mean, it still had that same Mad Max feel and not Terminator feel. Cause that was the, my issue with Salvation, is just the look of the future war in that movie. And not to mention the machines, they didn't have the shiny chrome-ness that they were known for. Instead they had the, you know, um... Uh... Uh... The, the dirty steel look to it. <sighs> okay. Oh, come on. Okay. How many uh, was in Dark Fate collectibles uh, to Salvation? Uh, was there more or less in both games? I, well, actually, I think you meant Dawn of Fate because there is it. I know it's easy to confuse Dawn of Fate with Dark Fate because they sound so darn similar. But uh, it's kind of like people tr uh, confusing The Force Awakens for The Force Unleashed because. Darn Disney made the title so darn similar. Uh, looks like it has uh, some sick weapons, I think. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, actually, there were some better futuristic weapons in Dawn of Fate than there were in uh, Salvation. I wonder if this is the same parking garage that Kyle Reese and Sarah hid in and if this may be the the green Cadillac car that uh, they drove out of to try to avoid the Terminator. I could be wrong. Just something to think of.
there. Uh, Dawn of Fate guns could not use plasma guns in that one. Actually, you could. You kind of got a, a a resistance rifle that shot, like, uh, greenish-blue rounds instead of the uh, traditional um, purple uh, look rounds. Too bad you couldn't get the, uh, the, the Terminator plasma rifles in that game. I mean, you saw endoskeletons walking around carrying it. So, it's just a shame you couldn't take it from them. Ha! Didn't know what hit him. Made it possible, uh, wait, um, don't think you can use them in Salvation. Yeah, definitely, because there were no plasma weapons in Salvation. The only p really plasma weapons you saw were on the big machines, like the HK tanks or the HK aerials. But you never actually had any handheld, uh, plasma weapons, because Salvation was about, they didn't have that kind of technology just yet. Where when they say hard on the hacking, they mean hard on the hacking. Okay. Okay, I have to head in this direction. Sounds like I'm the, uh, like my guy is wearing some sort of power armor. Yeah, I think it was, it's just the HK aerials flying around and it really is a little unnerving. By the way, uh, does anyone know about the fan-made game uh, for Terminator called Techcom 2099? It's actually was being made around the same time as this, and um, basically, uh, it's a lot like uh, this game, but slightly different. It's actually a little more along the lines of. Uh, 
Terminator, uh, uh well, not Terminator, uh, Alien Isolation. Where, uh, you actually have to hide from the HKs out of sight. So this way they don't shoot at you, you know, like, now. I mean, if that, if this were Techcom 2099, that HK would have been firing on me even if I wasn't in the spotlight. I'd have to be hiding behind cover. Another phase plasma rifle. Finally, have to deal with an issue regarding a story. Uh, you were ri you were writing. Uh, what computer was that game on? Uh, Techcom one. Um, I, I, was that the one over hours? Is that the shorter version? I honestly don't know. Um, I do know that the Techcom 2099 game is uh gonna be uh you know. Uh, it's a fan game. It's coming out like, um, like roughly fourth, fourth quarter. Oh. Basically, you play as Kyle Reese, and, um, in the future war, you come out of your bunker, do some missions, you have to find... Oh, no. Okay. And, uh, at the same time, uh, you gotta hide and take cover and whatnot. Okay, it was just there. Oh. There actually was like a, there are a few videos of, uh, of, uh, other Terminator fan channels, um, they're playing like the demo for Tech Techcom 2099. Uh, tw not Techcom 2029. I, I, I'm, I, every time I'm, I think of 20, uh, the year 20 something with a nine at the end, I'm confusing 2029 with 2099. Like, um, uh, you know, Spider Man 2099. Gotta get that right. Uh, how about Cyberpunk 2077? Huh, I never actually tried that one. I'll have to look into that. Woo! Quick grab. Talk about a quick grab, actually. Coming out on the Xbox uh, One and PS4 this year. Awesome. Yeah, um, I Techcom 2099 does sound like it's only for PC exclusive, but I really, really am hoping it becomes so popular and good that like, uh, 
like the uh, Friday the 13th game, it actually gets a PlayStation 4 release. I'll pl I will get it. I can add it to my collection with this game. Huh. Practically one shot. Ah, crap! They're firing down on me! Darn it! Where are you? At least I now have a weapon that I can actually use on these flying motherfuckers. <laughs> Come on, where are you at? I know you- oh! Oh, you're circling around, are you? Gun. What prevented the people from using Terminator weapons? Ooh. Um, I think uh, the fact that Skynet did a good job of holding on to them for a while, and then eventually, uh, eventually they got sloppy, and the Resistance managed to, you know, knock down some Terminators, take them, and then. That's when they were able to start reverse engineering them. Oh, crud! Just a few more shots. Come on, I know you're there. Got it. Finally, I can take down those one of those planes. Though it takes a lot of shots from this little thing. Come on, get up, up and over. Wonder. Can I find the remains? Can I steal from them? I think that it's there. Aha! I can take the remains. Awesome! I took down a plane and took the remains. I should have the rocket launcher somewhere. Yeah, I actually should. Yeah, it's right there. I just haven't equipped it. My mistake. Let me fix that. Actually, no, I'll put that right there. And then, um... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Thanks, Lee. Um. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. in the right direction now. Where? 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 I can't see them. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker! Oh. 
sneaky on me. Alrighty. Think I should go with toughness on this one? Uh, how did I not hear the chrome-plated being uh, sneak up on me? Well, I mean, I heard it. I just couldn't, uh, see it. Apparently the darn, uh, the uh, ultra vision wasn't helpful. Uh, you do toughness. Toughness? Okay. We got a unanimous vote there. That way I can, uh, take a little more damage. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nope. Oh, wow, that must be a big... That is a big-ass crater from the nuclear bombs. Dang. Whew! Now that's a hole. Uh, my abs are, are made of steel, literally. Okay. Yeah, this is where I found Mac earlier. I remember that. Well, not Mac. Alvin. That's who it is. Okay. Um, got that. Those. Uh, anything else? guarantee though I'll sneak past them hmm I think I could use more of these yeah need some more metal scraps if I'm gonna make more of those Gotta make my way down here. Come on, turn the other way. Or if I can just...
Ha ha ha! Slipped right past them. Would I see how many times I can get a different ending? Uh, you do one with side quests and another playthrough without doing. Yeah, actually, um, that I, I believe technically the side quests do kind of factor into the changes of the story. Like, for example, um, Mac wanted me to get the CPU for him to reprogram. It becomes the CPU for the T-800 that sent back the, term, the events of Terminator 2. Um, if I don't steal it, it basically means that, uh, uh, he has to, uh, they're gonna have to find another way to send, to turn a Terminator to their side to send back. Otherwise, the T-1000 will go unopposed. Get past that laser gate with the code reader. Now proceed with caution. That's something Baron would say, right? Next time, uh, I should... Uh, the next time you shot him, or another time you play it again to keep him alive. Yeah. Wow, what a hole there. That was definitely the point of impact. Oh, and I see the T8 the the HK tank in the distance. Should I engage? That's not your main objective, but I'll leave that up to you. All righty. liked oh you just liked that bit with the rocket launcher taking uh uh that hit that hk tank out yeah personally i kind of like the grenade aspect from the like in the movie
There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna come to a fork up ahead. Okay. Oh! Pilfer from these. And then I'll come back. Or rather, I'll be back. There we go. That way, if anyone comes my way, this thing will protect me. More hacking, I see. Took a little damage. All righty. hard yet really easy.
terminated. Oh! Don't want to get caught in that. Ah! That was... I did not expect that. Hey, Moira. Whew. This is uh, turning into quite a day. I walked right into the... Come on, get it. I'm on that side. I'll come up this way. Oh! Uh. Why am I not getting on there? Come on, Terminator, go away! Okay. Okay, whew! That was quick. Now, let's hack this thing. Dang it! Dang it! Whew! Terminated, motherfucker. Oh. Good. Turret, turn the other way. Take that turret out. for explosions, turrets! Okay. Whew.
Okay, time to run. Terminators didn't stand a chance. Now when I turn their own weapons against them. Okay. I'll make sure I got everything before I leave here. Soldiers dead in here. Oh my gosh, this is a massacre. This was no experimentation, this was outright massacre. Slaughterhouse. What, any other term like that you can think of. out this side this door. Anything? Nope. Alright. Time to carry on my objective. Oh. Didn't know there was something in here. Nope. Okay. My mistake. Not Nothing in there. Okay, that's the exit. Okay. How about over here? darn pipe finish you off that way but I was wrong and I hit the wrong button so it didn't matter anyway stupid me Whew. 
That was a close one. Okay. Haywire. Something went terribly effing ro fucking wrong. After we immobilized the tank, the uh, soldiers started shooting each other out of fucking nowhere. Uh, and before you know it, everyone's pointing their guns everywhere. I think I'm bleeding, but there's no so much blood around, I can't even tell if it's mine. Ouch. Then. Come on, get out of there. Why are you getting trapped like that? Wait a minute, did I pass where I was trying to go? Oh, yeah, I did. Alrighty. Oh. So much stuff left laying around here.
scrap metal. Oh, wow. then I think I got everything ready for my confrontation with the HK tank what the what was I what was I setting off I was I was alerting something less yeah that was weird. I was pretty sure I was alerting something. Oh, I thought he... Yeah, I was alerting the tank. I'm coming. We've got a problem. That HK is still functioning. I can't get near. Need a rocket launcher. You can even make a gash in that thing. Better find one. Alright. Trying to analyze its weakness. Okay. Its power supply is located on its back. Shoot it. Hurry. Skynet's reinforcements are starting to show up. Okay. Now this is the old rocket launcher, of course, but still. It's done! Quick, get behind it! rocket launcher. But the one that I was using, it's out. Ooh. The power supply river. It's on its back. I know that. Ah.
think I might need to upgrade my um hmm all right last one for now uh crafting or stealth Stealth? Got one for stealth. Do I have two for stealth? Two for stealth? Going once? Going twice? Going three times? Sold to stealth. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay. Ammo box, ammo box, ammo box. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But I'm not getting any rocket launcher to fire it. I doubt that I can fit these newer rockets into the... Oh! I doubt I can fit the newer rockets into the... Uh, old rocket launcher. Unless I'm missing something. Where am I facing? Away from. Okay. There should be ammo boxes for the launcher. Yeah. I'm just trying to find the. the... Power supply river. It's on its back. Yeah, I know that. Egghead. Shut up. And let me think. Yeah. Um. What have I been getting? Uh... Yeah, I have these, I have these rockets, uh, laser guided missile. I don't have the missile, the laser guided missile launcher. I just have the r plain old rocket launcher. Where is it? I don't have it. Unless, yeah, I have to get rid of this, maybe. laser-guided missile launcher.
Oh, darn it. Wrong, wrong. Wrong button. The missile launcher is in the corner of when I first came in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Near a body. Okay. Gotta find the body. Oh, wait. I see now. I got him. I got him. There we go. Finally. Whew. I'm getting behind it. I'm getting behind it. Come on. That's it. Now hi. Bad news. My sensors are picking up an aerial transporter in your vicinity. Oh boy. Probably on me now. Oh, no worries. That happens. I've been known to accidentally do that myself. that coming, did you? What's interesting. And what's interesting is that this HK tank, well, right now it looks like it only has one barrel, but before I destroyed it, there was like a secondary one right there. And, uh, but the thing is, in the original first Terminator movie, these tanks only had one barrel. And then, uh, by Terminator 2, they introduced, they like mod, they like had an upgrade and there was like two barrels. Got it. Moving out.
Yeah, it goes to show that uh, uh, even though one and two, the future war scenes look like they were, uh, you know, uh, there's a consistency in the look and the feel and the tone and the atmosphere. There is a uh, showing, uh, you know, a, a good case of improvement over the machines. Okay, so I just got to go back that way because there's no way I'm going all the way back down to here. That's just that would just be. Uh, Oof, I don't that would be too long take it too much time I'm just surprised you can actually see the moon in this game because I would think the Judgment Day with all the nuclear radiation would have made it so darn cloudy you couldn't see the moon I do uh, head out. I want to see. Uh, is it possible? Okay, you can only upgrade plasma weapons, but not the rocket launchers. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. I wonder. Can you, uh. Can you load the, uh, the purple plasma into the red plasma weapon? Yeah, Judgment Day is nuclear hell. Probably not. This is probably an old model anyway. Yeah, has the R at the end, so I take it that's why. Oh, that was just a green laser of a reprogrammed turret. Only standard rocket launchers. Okay. Oh, only standard and the rocket launcher. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm I'm about to spare Mac. It wasn't easy, but I got those research codes for Dr. Mac. With them, I should he should be able to access Skynet's mainframe and hack the pl that plasma wet rifle that should be should level the playing field the play field oh yeah definitely hell of a fight with the hk tank oh wrong button i've got the codes all right then let's get right to it Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. Easy That's money. It. With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, time displacement equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? 
In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So if it's done, then what the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron... What happened between you and Baron? Years ago, Connor gave an order to infect Skynet with a virus. To do it, we had to reboot a T-800 model I was trying to reprogram. I warned them that I wasn't done and that the Terminator was fully functional, but they didn't listen. So, as expected, it went online and sent our coordinates to Skynet. But not only that, it attacked and killed Perry. Baron took it personally because they were... an item. She's been holding a grudge ever since. I got that ship for you. Is it any different from the others? Is it any different? Of course it is! Its CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. It's been updated to incorporate infiltrating techniques. Thus, its processing power exceeds any other chip. This could be exactly what we need to win this war, Jacob. I have to warn you. Baron sent me to kill you. If she finds out that I didn't, she'll send someone who will. Thank you for telling me. If what you're saying is true, I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you, and go see Baron. And what's ironic is that the very chip that I just gave him, the chip that came from the infiltrator sent back to kill me, becomes the chip of the good T-800 for T-2. How about that? Oh, darn it. I need to ditch something. Uh, I'll ditch this. Uh, there. Leave that for Mac. Oh, wait. Weak spot. They have a weak spot. They are tirelessly de dedicated to carrying out the mission they were programmed to do. They will give themselves away if there's even a slight chance that they will get what they want. They never miss or let go of any opportunities. And, they, and when they do, they stand there exposed for what they truly are. Heartless killing machines. Yeah, I have two rocket launchers. The original one is just the is like the basic standard rocket launcher. The one that I just got during the fight with the HK tank is actually the um, um, laser guided missile launcher. Any other art notes I need to archive here? Uh, yes, was thinking it could be have been the same after. Uh, some time from that infiltrator. Yeah. <laughs> and that should be my last skill point. Let's see. Crafting. Yep, that that's my last one. I am fully Leveled up. Easy money. Okay, um, my miss just want to double check before I leave. Wait, did it? Oh, oh, that's just my rifle. Badass achieved. Absolutely. Thank you. I am, as, um, 
as Bill Paxton said in uh, Aliens, I am the ultimate badass. Commander. I'm here. Is the thing with Mac taken care of? It is. But I have some news for you. Go ahead. It turns out that the infiltrator that's been following me has been sent back in time through the t a time displacement equipment. It connected, it, it connected to Skynet and uploaded its own knowledge of causing them to learn at a geometric rate. I have a feeling this war will not last much longer. See, I, like I said, this game has a great story, a great standalone story, but it lacks a few things, like the involvement of Kyle Reese. I mean, yeah, you didn't have to have him, like, hold your hand throughout the whole darn story. You could have, I mean, they wisely waited until near the end, at the final level, to have you meet John Connor. You could have done something similar with Reese. Or, or if you want to do it better, have him in the middle of the game, uh, superseding uh, Baron's orders. Because she's too hot-headed to actually lead this resistance. Still locked. All right. Here's the man of the hour. Sergeant, are you taking a tour with us? Sorry, I'm uh, a little busy right now. There's a reason uh, people would follow John Codner rather than Baron. Absolutely. Also, you're a sergeant? Yeah, um, I, I started off as a private, but then uh, by the time I reached this bunker with the survivors, uh, you know, the the um, the people that I was with, I be, I get a promotion for my uh, for my hard work. And uh, Reese was also a sergeant, by the way, Sergeant Kyle Reese. So in a way, he I mean, yeah, technically Baron is a commander, so therefore she supersedes me and Reese. But because even though Reese is a sergeant, he is Connor's right hand man, so therefore that should give him more pull than despite Repeat it being a me. despite being a you know uh, target, sergeant. And what's behind it? And what else? Shit, I forgot. There is one thing missing in this particular uh, bunker right now in this game. Oh, you're surprised the dogs are still around. Yeah, but the, um... Oh, wait. By the way, the door that was locked was Baron's bedroom. Yeah, I know. But yeah, um, there's missing uh, some a lot of uh, poor people uh, starving and uh, crying and uh, a bunch of children and, then, and all that. Some of that is missing here. Aww! There's Patrick's little doggy. Hey there. Hey there, boy. Uh, okay. Don't want to see that. <laughs> I think these ones have a five-second fuse. Are you sure? We don't want the same thing that happened last time. <laughs> yeah, it is fucking adorable. Do you need anything? Uh, okay. Before I do, uh, cash in my stuff. I want to try to... They gave me a rifle? I don't even know how to use one. They said it's hot, but it doesn't seem hot to me at all. Hmm. Now this rifle does look a bit like the one Reese wields, except the scope is all wrong. It has, it's supposed to have the bulky uh, sniper scope that, um, like on Reese's rifle. How about that? Doesn't look like him. Yet it yet this m t infiltrator is the uh ha carried the CPU behind uh the Arnold bot for T2. Who to thunk it? Uh did I romance Jennifer? Not yet. I'm getting ready to do that though. Oh, 
I passed the, uh, there we go. Because if I fail to get them out, they de will die. Yeah, I already, I already made sure that all, almost everyone is out. I just gotta take care of uh, uh, Jennifer and Patrick, and the puppy, of course. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Okay. Now then, get rid of this old rocket launcher. Uh, and this old rifle. Check. I could talk to Baron, and then okay, nothing down here. Okay, got that taken care of. Anyone in here need Are talk? Are scared? No. With the new plasma rifles, we finally have the firepower to match Skynet. Rivers, just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out. You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. We're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed. <laughs> You'd rather see, uh... Her fight then lead. Absolutely. I mean, oh, Jacob? there's Patrick. You're moving out? I am. What about you? I'm part of a scavenging team now. But Commander Baron gave us an order to get back to the shelter. If you see Jennifer, can you tell her that? Okay. Uh, where is she? Last time I saw her, she was upstairs. Alright. Upstairs I go. Yeah, um, when I first came through here, I thought they may have forgotten the pipe that you walk over, but now I found that it actually is here. She's a good fighter, you will admit that, but fighting and leading are not the same, uh, um, the same. Yeah, Sobble from, uh, Band of Brothers would be a better leader than her. Romance is coming, yeah. And, um, but yeah, I mean, now, John Connor is one of the exceptions. You know, he is both the, f that's one of the things I did like about Salvation was that he didn't, ju he wasn't just, you know, give issuing orders like a leader. He was actually risking his life, going out on the front lines, leading by example. That's what makes him a better leader than Baron. That's locked. Oh, 
Huh. Show yourself, Jen, yeah. it's locked the darn door is, is in the way or the darn shelf is in the way that's what I meant to say nice view how did you find me Patrick told me you might be somewhere around here it's my thinking spot is he worried no he seems happy how did he do on your first scavenging hunt together well, at first he was excited just to be outside a little too excited some drones spotted him. But I did it. I managed to protect him. Nothing happened. And from that point on, he understood how dangerous a scavenger's life can be. See, you'll make a great scavenging team. Yeah, I'm starting to see it that way. And because of that, I was thinking... About leaving? <laughs> I don't have any secrets from you, do I? Yeah, about leaving. With Patrick. Definitely should leave. I think you should leave. What? Are you serious? I thought you'd be the last person to encourage me to go. What about what you said earlier? What changed? Things are different now. It's not safe here anymore, and I think you should go. Jacob, I don't know what to say. You know that your opinion matters to me the most. <laughs> to be honest, you're the only thing keeping me here. Well, that's it then. I guess I'm going. You're always looking out for me. Thank you for that. I know you're moving out soon, but there's something I want to say. Regardless of what happens later, I hope that we'll find each other. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm lucky to have someone like you. And I'm lucky to have you. I hoped you'd say that. And that happened. You know what? I'll stay here just a little while longer. Tell Patrick not to worry. I'll be back soon. I'll do that. Okay. Well, I wouldn't know. I never saw Ride to Hell, honestly.
You ready to move out? I am. All right. Let's do this. Thirty years ago, the machines decided to wipe out all of humanity because they feared that we were a threat to their existence. Today, we make their fear come true. Sergeant Rivers, you were requested by John Connor to lead the Alpha Team. <laughs> Lifeless dolls, You will be I like responsible that. for carrying out the attack on the location of Skynet's central core. Yep. We will create a diversion to lure out any HK aerials patrolling the area. Well, this would actually that be the give you some time to um, the third Taking uh, out last, Skynet's ground the third forces, last level of the game. Remember, the goal is to destroy Skynet's central core at whatever cost. Good luck out there. Dismissed. Dismissed. Very inspirational. Not. And personally, what I would have had it was, I, what I would have done is when you have to steal that CPU that uh, f that Mac needs, I would have had it where you needed the distraction, but simply turning on the radio was not enough. You would have needed uh, Kyle Reese's help, but you need in order to get Kyle Reese's help, um, you had to basically tell him about that the stranger thinks it's a good idea, and um, you know about the theories and whatnot, showing that you that. Uh, showing that you trust Kyle Reese enough to tell him the truth, and therefore Kyle trusts you enough to know that you're doing the right things, and that's why he uh, he goes along with it. That way, or something or other, whatever happens, Baron learns that uh, Reese and Rivers have been up to no good, and decides to punish, um, use her commanding authority to punish Reese by sending him out on recon. That and uh, while Rivers goes to the Griffiths Observatory, that's why by the by the time of the s scene where um you know the attack on the bunker happens, he's just getting back to the bunker after forced recon be as punishment. Bye -bye. That's how I would have done it. This is us. Let's move out. Ah, like a, what a 12 year old. Uh, yeah, that's true. When I was a kid, I thought sex was basically just two adults hugging and kissing while nude. Nothing more. What was I surprised when I learned there was more to it than that? Yeah, it should have. It, it, yes, it should have been uh, with Kyle. Uh, that way will will be good to see. Yeah. Silverfish, twelve o'clock. Neutralized. Let's keep moving. Okay. While I'm at it, what am I? Okay. Since I'm here. Okay. No, no. Better fire rate, and what else? Okay. Um, let's see. If it was that simple, then there would be a lot of babies. Yeah. Uh, damage. Ah. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay. Much as I like my, uh, Skynet. Uh, ahead. Swap out the other fire rate chip. Oh, okay.
Okay. Um, remove chip. There. Got that. Now then. Uh, clip. I should definitely increase my clip. Hmm. There we go. And accept. That look good? Yep, okay. Oh, sorry, Frank. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> Dang, these things really Let's are endurable. Durable. Keep pushing forward. Oh, metals. I missed something. Anything over here? Nope. All right. Move out. Oh, crud. to Griffith's Observatory. Fitting. Terminator 1 began at Griffith's Observatory with uh, Terminator arriving there. Another Fitting. infiltrator? No, he's with us. Oh. Took you a while. How did you know we were coming? I thought you'd know by now. I know more than you think. Better prepare yourself. All right. Ooh. It's quiet. Okay. Do you like how, in order to get the good, uh, good thing, you must do the bad, do a bad thing, like getting Ryan kicked out in order for him to keep, to keep him safe? Yeah. Oh! Spread out! That was close. Oh! Focus on that HK! Okay, I already have a rocket launcher, but now I got a second one just in case. Good, good, good. Alrighty then. Hmm. <laughs> Right now, then. And then I have uh, 12 of these, so. They're 
I do know that this is a going to be a nasty situation coming up here, so I want to switch this out for a moment. I'm going to leave a nasty surprise for a simple cores downstairs for a How certain you know? unwelcome I've friend. I've been here before. I've seen it. This way, he'll walk right into it. Watch out! Oh, um, stupid me! I threw the—I hit the wrong button. I threw a grenade. Uh, my fifth time dying in this game, and this time it was on account of reckless, stupid, wrong button pushed. Uh, sometimes I wonder how I—I I am this. What are the other four times? Oh, um, first time was against the T-800 in the, uh, in the hospital. Second time was, um, uh, I got overwhelmed. And then the two times happened at the same time at, like, uh, uh, a particular location. I don't, I forget. You'd have to go back to rewatch the, uh, previous ones to, to get the other times I'm afraid I barely remember the uh, the exact details but I know this is my fifth time overall in this game playthrough okay watch out oh no Run. Ugh. I'm hitting the freaking R1 button when I should be hitting the L R2 button oh yeah yeah the difference is if I hit the R1 button, I'm going to throw a super grenade that'll kill me. I'm trying to drop a freaking uh, mine so that way the Terminator can walk right into it and blow itself up. Ay. Hitting the wrong freaking button. I'm tired of it. This time, hit the R2 button. Watch out!
he walked right into that. Rifle. I can't grab it. Son of a gun. It's not here. The central core. It's supposed to be right here. They knew we were coming. They moved it. It's a trap. A fucking trap. We have to move. Those missiles are headed this way. Wait! If we triggered the attack, it means that this place is still connected to Skynet's mainframe. If we trace where the signal's coming from, we'll know the Central Core's actual location. How could they know we were coming? When Skynet was about to lose the war, they sent an infiltrator back in time. It must have warned them about this attack. How do you know all this? Because I went back after that infiltrator. Yes! Oh, I've got the coordinates. Let's go. All this will make sense to you soon, but right now we need to go. Commander, Central Core, it's not here. It was an ambush. Commander! You can't die here. Get up! Baron, I've got the coordinates. Can you hear me? Where the hell are you? Back at the Resistance shelter. It was an ambush. Skynet had sent a Terminator back in time to warn itself about the attack. They moved the Central Core before we got there. But thanks to the stranger, I managed to escape with the information on the sky on the Central Core's real, true location. Dead soldiers, dead dogs.
And Alvin's little spider drone was still there. I'm correct, this spot here is where Kyle Reese should have been laying. Why isn't he here? I mean, seriously, Reese should have been somewhere around here. I should have... And, and if you really wanted to wait, and if you didn't want Reese taking up uh, some of the story, he should have, then you should have first meet him, met him here, laying after the whole explosion. And then you're the one that needs to get him out. That would have made you just a little more important than before. Four hours. It's only, it's been only four fucking hours since teams Alpha and Bravo left. We can only sit in front of our radios and wait for news. Ask this, I asked the scouts uh, coming in and out, but they, but they all say that everything's been quiet. There, there's nothing else left to do but wait, and it's killing me. I don't ever remember the shelter being so quiet. And now that I mention it, how, how quiet it, it is, the dogs started howling like something bit their ass off. Great. Yeah, I'm I'm really certain if Kyle Reese the, the Kyle Reese by this point in the story should have been found laying right here incapacitated, barely conscious because the H because the infiltrator thought maybe he was dead and or dying. And then you come in here and then you got to help him back up onto his feet and help get him out of here. I'm surprised they didn't do that. I mean, that's one little plot hole with this entire ga game story. Where is Kyle Reese? Purple plasma minigun. Perfect. Alrighty. Alrighty. Fire rate, clip, and now what else? Damage, I think. Yeah. Oh, stability. Okay. Where's stability? Stability, stability, where is it? Ah, there we are. Oh, 
位。There, finally. There. Commander! Rivers, you're alive. What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot, and for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave, now. Uh -oh. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them, and then find Connor, and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! T-1000. Good luck, Jacob. Alright, I... One of these routes... Okay. Then I gotta go this way, the long way through.
yeah, this is the minigun and therefore it has to be powerful. Alrighty, I will be right back, gotta take a quick potty break, and then we will be going on the final assault against Skynet.
All right, I'm back, and let's do this. The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Anyone receiving me? This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? If anyone's hearing this, please respond. <laughs> Is anyone else out there? Look, we got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, don't! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alrighty then. Time to meet John Connor himself. Yet still... Where's Kyle Reese? I mean, seriously, out of all the reviews I've seen for this game, that is the one thing about the story no one brings up. Where the hell is Kyle Reese in all of this? <laughs> I'm, I have more. I have a better chance of finding Waldo than I do of finding Kyle Reese in all of this. And Carmen San Diego. Survivor from Baron's division. Hmm. Am I supposed to talk to anyone specific here? Because I mean, there's a green dot. Or is it just soldiers? Okay. Indicating key personnel. Okay. hand off the other the camera stick long enough and I bump right into a wall. Ah, now these are the ones with the bulky lenses, the one that uh, Kyle Reese has. Ah, mi actual miniguns. Well, 
lot of guns. Connor's more prepared than the than Baron's division ever was. Sergeant. The man himself. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. But not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war, so they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, Now's the time to ask them. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination. One of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back. So I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them. And the one I chose was you. You are the one you call stranger. Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. How did you know that the Central Core wasn't at the observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the observatory. They had to move the central core, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. If there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. All righty then. The front lines. John Connor anticipated everything that's happened. He knew that Skynet would try to deceive us, and he had faith that I'd bring him those coordinates. The name Connor has, was always synonymous with hope, and now I know why. I have faith that he will lead us through this final battle. Now I do notice there was one thing in this game that was slightly inaccurate to James Cameron's initial vision. Basically this this screenshot here of the tunnel, that was supposed to lead that leads right to the time displacement equipment, but in the original concept, it wasn't a t long tunnel like that. I mean, sure there must have been tunnels like this, but it was basically an a long elevator leading down to the time displacement equipment that uh, led there. I think this tunnel was supposed to lead to the elevator and you go down the elevator, but they ixnade the elevator in this. Alrighty. No fate. The 124 are on their way to the central core. Then we better get ready. Old computers. 
dated 30 years prior to Judgment Day. If it wasn't for them, of course, Skynet would have an, a technological edge over us. And by the way, for anyone who's wondering... Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Um, I will be taking a break from building my basic YouTube channel as well as my TechTom channel for a bit. But when I do get back, the first video I'm going to do, if I... Uh, I think I'll take a... Uh, a break from the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the weapons videos, because, I mean, I got the ones from the Future War, and that's all I really need, but, um, essentially, um, I'm gonna do a what-if video. What if, Sarah, what if Kyle Reese failed to save Sarah at Tech Noir? Now, you're probably gonna wonder, where does that what-if story go if she dies? But don't worry, I'll explain that in the video when I make it. But then ev eventually, after the What If video, I'm hoping to work on some crossover stories, like Terminator meets Resident Evil, or Terminator meets Star Wars. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I already have that then. Is there a... Okay, there's a table right there, but how, can I trade in stuff for points? Or do I have already have all I need? Hmm. Is there a trade-in thing here? Anywhere? I guess not. So I don't need this. Only need one. And I can drop this now. But first... Plasma rifle, rocket launcher. Um, mini uh, Skynet model, Techcom model, uh, um, mini gun. Then there's the sniper, of course. Should I keep the uh, Skynet model, or should I trade it out with one of these two? <laughs> Ditch this, the... this? Okay.
good now. Oh, I missed two letters. So I got only 30 of 32 notes, so I'm missing two of them. I'm going to have to figure out what they are. Okay, that's a lot of armor, a lot of weapons caches. Hmm. Over here. Nope. Probably don't need these. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Now for the opening of Terminator 2. Commander. Commander. Te technically, they should be calling him General, not Commander. And I like how they got the Terminator 2 uh, 3D Battle Across Time Skynet Pyramid. Awesome. Granted, the red lighting is all weird, but that was because that wasn't in the thing. Sergeant, we're waiting up ahead. The defense grid, I see it.
Another sector clear. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank. Ariel, down it! T-47 ahead! Two of them! Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. T-47 
This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! What's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. 
A single prototype created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. Would you want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? Okay, got one for don't go. Okay, you next. I don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. Hi, Anadia Garcia. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back I'll in time. I'll be back. He knew that the final battle would not be fought no here. No problemo. But in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. So you see, this is all Kyle Reese is reduced to. A simple name drop in a... image. The second one was not a man but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. Same thing here with Arnold. Should have had him involved in somehow. I've decided not to go back in time. Plenty of volunteers wanted to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life. But at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And as for me, it was time to start over. We finally see the face of Rivers. And 
that, everyone, was Terminator Resistance. And I gotta say, it wasn't bad. I mean, like I said, there are some things to nitpick, but overall, it was still a damn good game. Definitely worth having, in my honest opinion. If I were to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, it would be a solid 8 out of 10. But, uh, yeah. This thing, like I said, I mean, the graphics are great, more so in the nighttime than in the daytime. Yeah, finally a game for Terminator fans that actually isn't bad. Exactly. I mean, sure, there were some liberties taken with this, and, um, yeah, you'd give it an 8 too? Okay. But yeah, the, um, but yeah, I definitely encourage anyone who likes this game to check out Techcom 2099. Oh, not 20, I keep making that a damn mistake. Techcom 2029. And, uh, yeah, basically, it was, it, basically, the difference between that and this game it's basically the same difference between Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Um, I say this game is meant to feel more like it's in line with Terminator 2, whereas Techcom 2029 is meant to feel more like Terminator 1. So, um, yeah, um, and I hope that if the, P the PC game does, you know, turn out well, they'll re-release it for PS4, like with the Friday the 13th uh, game developers when they initially released it as just a... Uh, computer game and then made it a console game. Um, ah. We got the cast here, and, uh, they got, uh, Eric Myers voicing John Connor. That's cool. I would personally like to see the original actor who played, uh, who, or stood in as, uh, older John Connor from Terminator 2, Michael Edwards, I believe his name was, or Edward Michaels. I would like to see him, them get a, to, to reprise his role in some way, whether it be a game or a new Terminator film that actually respects the lore. Because clearly we can't trust uh, people behind Dark Fate. But, uh, yeah, essentially, um, I encourage checking out Termin the Techcom 2029 and then get this, and then uh, it would basically be two great Terminator games made in the same year. Well, technically, uh, two years, because, um, you know, this technically was released last year, but I didn't get it until now, because <sighs> Europe and Australia got it before the States could. But, uh, yeah, um, thank you all for joining me, and, uh, I hope to see you all again another time. But in the meantime, this is Techcom, preserving ter Terminator lore since 1984. Subscribe to us if you want to live. Remember, there's no fate but what we make. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby.